Hey everybody, Josh with GDS Science Supply, and today we're going to show you some tips and tricks on pressing heat transfer material onto a double-sided mesh jersey. So let's get started. All right, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that your graphic is sized appropriately to the jersey, and you also want to make sure that um, you've done some measuring and know exactly where you want your graphic placed. So we've done that ahead of time, uh, so we know that our graphic. Um, is going to fit nicely proportionally to this jersey and I also know where the center of my graphic is so if I get the I and the A lined up with the center of the neck hole then uh, I know that I'm going to be good and I'll show you what we're doing to line up these graphics uh, we're kind of eyeing this graphic in such a way that um, we have the ruler to the bottom of the armholes and now I'm going to by looking at my graphic, I'll be able to tell if it's straight just by how much is revealed. It looks like it's equal on both sides. I know that I'm in the center. And so now I'm going to be ready to press. Um, but one thing that's unique about these jerseys is because they're reversible, they sew the neck hole and the armholes because you can turn it inside out for the other color. So. One thing that we're going to do today is we've created a template um, to bring our, our uh, shirt with the, with the transfer all registered on it from the table to the heat press because we're not able to pull the shirt on um, far enough to be able to see the neckline or the, the seams in the arms so we know how to register the graphics, which is what you should typically do uh, is register the graphics on the press because uh, it is difficult uh, to move it from here to there. So with this uh, template that we have, we've rounded the corners. We're going to get in between the orange and the black layer. And if you've never used heat transfer material, that clear carrier sheet does have some adhesive on it. So it is holding uh, the letters in place just a little bit. So I can move it around just slightly and it's not going to move too much on me. So what I'm going to do now is I can pick up the shirt uh, with this um, kind of substrate or template underneath there and I can carry it over to the press. All right, now that we have um, the shirt with the template still between the layers on the press, uh, let's talk a little bit about why we're doing that. So um, because this has holes in it and there's two layers um, that people can potentially see, we want to press one layer at a time. So I have slipped the shirt over the platen and I've left the template in there just uh, while I'm sliding it on. And so I will take that out now. Again, you want to be careful. The, the graphics shouldn't move too much on you, but you don't want to be too rough with it. So I'm going to slip it out. We'll fold the jersey back down. So now it's just the jersey and the material on the platen. One thing we're going to add, uh, because sometimes these jerseys are dyed, um, through a sublimation process. Uh, we do want to make sure that we protect um, the rest of the jersey from the press so there's no ink migration. Uh, these colors are dark enough so we shouldn't need any other um, sublimation blocking material or anything like that. Um, and, and we are using uh, FlexCut Max, it's a Ceph product. And normally we would press that at 330 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 to 17 seconds. Today we're gonna press it at 305 to 310, so I'm right at 307. Uh, today and uh, still for 15 to 17 section, seconds, uh, medium to heavy pressure. All right, so what I'm going to do with that pressing is I'm going to remove the carrier sheet immediately, and that has um, some pretty good detail in there. Um, once you pull the uh, clear transfer sheet away, um, I do actually put it back in just for a second, uh, for about half that time actually, um, put the sheet back on it. I just give it another press. I, I really feel like once that carrier sheet is removed from the heat transfer material, it just allows that um, material to go down into those holes a little bit more. So we're just about there. So we'll get the press out of the way, get rid of our Teflon sheet. And we're going to peel away the clear protective carrier. And hopefully you can see um, there's a lot more definition in there now that we pressed that just a second time. And again, I really think that's because 
the material um, has now been separated away from the clear protective sheet which was put on by the manufacturer. So just a little space between the layers, you're gonna have a lot more definition and uh, this is sure to work awesome. So we're gonna go back to the table, we're gonna do um, all the, the backside and then we're gonna flip it inside out and repeat the same process. So for more information about the Cephi transfer material, call the number below or check us out online at gdsciencesupply.com. Thanks for watching.